Alexa's album is called Expectations. It's out now. Brian Adams is on the ultimate tour. Tickets are available now. Pretty Woman, the musical, is in previews starting July 20th. Behind the bar, it, um, there's a pop up of Nikki Beach in Southampton, and Charles is behind the bar. Um, so let's go back to the phones. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? My name is Colleen, and I'm calling from Jersey City, New Jersey. Hey, Colleen, what's your question? Um, and my question is for Brian Adams. What is one song that he has totally done and over with performing? What song can you not get away with not performing, but you're like, oh, man? Well, if, if it ever came to that, I would just turn the mic on the audience and let them sing it. Right. You know, <laughs> right. I don't get tired of the music I play. It's, it's, I, if I do, I just change the set around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there isn't really one, darling. Right. Um, they've all made you very, very rich. Um, <laughs> in addition to adding to your uh, artistic uh, freedom. Uh, I just punted the end of that sentence. Uh, BB, your worst celebrity encounter was, without naming names, mm. uh, or you can name names. We're only on, better. Well, online. <laughs> um, there was like a few, but like, uh, one time I had somebody like wait for like make me wait outside their dressing room for like 15 20 minutes and then I was at a show and then finally went into the dressing room and like she wouldn't talk to me like she ignored me so I like sat on my knee like sat up by her while she was getting her makeup done and I was like trying to like start convo and she just was like so like she just wouldn't give me conversation so I like walked like I literally just walked out of her room and I was like rude bitch <laughs> wow. why do you think Taylor Swift has an issue <laughs> Just kidding. It's not um, her, because I'm going to have the hate on my Twitter. I know, That's no, not no, her. No, 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 no. Yeah, exactly. I'll get killed, yeah, trust no, me. No, 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 no. I know. Um, <laughs> let's go to uh, the phones. Call her. What's your name and from where are you calling? Hello, like my name is Mark? Carrie calling Florida. Hey, what's your question? My question is if there's going to be an expectations tour from BB Rexa. Yes. Yeah. Mm hmm January. Great. So stay tuned. Yes. Very good. And so what is it? So the ultimate tour is is on right now? Yeah, it sort of goes on forever, really. It goes on forever. <laughs> uh, would you do a Vegas residency? Sure. Yeah. Have you played Vegas a lot? Yeah. For, like, oh, I'm here for two weeks? Or is it mainly, no, like, but, oh, I mean, I'm I started MGM. playing Vegas in 1983. Really? So. Who's the most unlikely person that you've been on a bill with? Um, we once did a tour with Ozzy Osbourne. I love it. Uh, but it wasn't so unlikely. Right. Uh, it was just, uh, it was just different. What, um, uh, what performance of a song, what, what performance in your life have you had? Because you've performed all over the place for, for, for the Queen, I'm assuming you've performed for the Queen. And, um, what performance made you the most nervous before you you went? Oh, out? that's easy. To, what uh, is singing it? at the Oscars? Singing at the Oscars. Yeah, that was terrible. And you sang what at the Oscars? Um, I Have sang, you ever loved it? Yeah, I led that one and also did everything I do. Wow. But the first time I did it, uh, I just couldn't look out into the crowd because right. everybody was just. You knew everybody you knew out there. Everybody out there. Yeah. And it's like I just kept looking at the spotlight. And then I looked over at the monitor, and I noticed that I had a dribble of olive oil on my shirt. No. <laughs> it didn't help the second verse. But oh, I mean, man. <laughs> wow. So that was the most nervous, for sure. Yeah. What was the most nervous you've been so far? Other than this show. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was doing, like, a, um, I, I forgot what we were, we were. It was a gala or something like that. And um, everybody was drunk, but the only person that was, like, watching me was Mariah Carey. And I was performing me, myself, and I. And I got really nervous. And, of course, like, I never crack singing that song. And, of course, uh -huh. when I'm singing in front of Mariah Carey, someone I love, I f crack. Oh, my God. And um, she was doing the whole, like, ooh. It's just like she was singing with me, and then I was like, I, f I sucked at that, so it is what it is, but oh. it's all good. Yeah. Okay, things yeah. happen. Did she say anything about it? Um, uh, she hugged me afterwards and said she loved that song, but yeah, okay. I was bummed out. Right. I feel like I failed, you know? Oh. But it's okay. Things yeah. happen. You gotta pick yourself back up. That's right. That's right. Um, well, how did you happen to photograph the queen? I got, what was I, that like? My photo agent asked me if I would do it. 
Really? Yeah. I, I was, um, I have an agent in London. And was it a seated portrait or what was the... Well, um, it was for the Commonwealth. And the Commonwealth is a group of countries which is part of the yes. British Commonwealth and British Empire. <laughs> and Canada, is being, I'm Canadian. I, got, yes. I was the Canadian representative as the photographer. So that's how I got asked. Wow. Yeah. And what was it like? It was, it was great. It was really fun. Um, was got, she cheeky? Was I'll she... tell you exactly what happened. I went with my assistant. We had five minutes. All photographers got five minutes to do it. And the, there's a little elevator in Buckingham Palace, okay? And the elevator came down. We thought, oh, here we go. There she comes. So, but the doors opened, and out came ten corgis. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's cute. And did you say, sometimes I chill with Diana? Uh, it was <laughs> not really a good time. Be right, right. Say that. Right, right. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> Lila C wants to know, BB, what is the strangest item? Hang on, you... let me just help. BB What's happening? Her. I'm stuck with all the pins. Oh, oh, her, her jacket is stuck. Her sleeve is stuck to her. No, it's worse. Oh my God, now it's open. There you go. I got oh. it. Oh, sorry, you can ask the question, I'll answer. Um, what is <laughs> I need strangest... Two, I need two hands for this. Strangest item you saw inside Katy Perry's dressing room while you guys were touring? I saw her boobs. Oh, okay, that's good. That's strange. Amazing, I'm sure they were beautiful, amazing yes. Boobs. <laughs> like, like, probably the best boobs I've ever seen. Really? Yeah, her body's amazing. Um, God, you are... Perfect for this show. <laughs> uh, Daniel R. texted Brian. Now that marriage was is. That, by the way, was that just live on online? Of yeah. Me, of me undoing her. Yes. Yes. <laughs> now that marijuana is legalized in Canada, how do you plan to celebrate? Well, I mean, I don't think it's it's actually legalized until August. So. Right. But you know, I think. Uh, he knows the month, so you know what's about to happen. Yeah. <laughs> The alcohol, the alcohol is getting to me. Sorry. <laughs> BB. No, uh, I had it some other. Melissa R R. Can we expect a collaboration with uh, Camila Cabello in the near future? Yeah, of course. Yes. She's, she's amazing. She's amazing. Yes, I love her so much. Um. <sighs> all right, I think I'm about to wind this up. Ad lib. Uh, BB, why were you so emotional at the Radio Disney Awards? Oh no, I was at GMA the other day and I won two awards. And I never won like an award before. So I won two Radio Disney Awards. So that was, they like surprised me on stage in front of like on live TV. Uh, so it was your first award that you have Yes, yeah, so I was won. like shocked. And then I like looked like, I don't know, I looked like in, like a child. I don't know, I was crying. I couldn't help it. You know, I've never nice. won an award before. That's so that was good. That's Congratulations. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Brian. What piece of advice would you give to BB about staying? You've, you've been at it for so long, and you've had hits for a very long time. No, honestly, but like, how do you not and you're still it? on this tour. How, how do, what, yes. what advice can you give her about how to keep it going? How, like, do, you, how do you keep, the, my question is, and this is a true thing, is like, it's hard, like, you know, it gets weird sometimes. How do you keep the balance and not lose your... Self. You lose yourself, like, I can sometimes like have moments, like crazy moments. I think you never take it seriously, okay? Always have a laugh, and make sure you stay with your mama, okay? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's great. That's really good advice. Well, are you, what, was your, what month were you born? November. Oh, that's why. Why? Because I'm a Virgo, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, you know, this is honest. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, BB's new album is called Expectations. It's out now. Brian is on the ultimate tour. You can get tickets now. Pretty Woman the Musical, starring our friend Samantha, is starts July 20th. Congratulations. Can't wait to see it. Uh, and we'll see you at Nikki Beach, Charles Barnes. For more, click around BravoTV.com. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.